welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be making a very comforting dish it is getting cold outside and this dish always makes me feel warm and cozy it just fills your belly and makes you happy for the day this dish is called mango it's a Filipino dish made out of these green lentils and we saute with onion and garlic and add some meat it's very simple and my mom's here she's already started the process so I'm just gonna quickly show you what we did so far and then I'll show you the rest of the cooking. So my mom was ahead of me. She already started cooking. She did the onion and garlic and she also did the lentils, but she's gonna explain to you guys what she did. I had two packages of lentils, it's called mango, and then I boiled it uh, for at least two hours, I think. How many cups of water did you have to add in there? I You have to add, check it every now and then, be sure the water is not uh, what you call it. It doesn't. It needs more water because or else the mungo is not going to get softened. For this dish, we usually use pork belly, and we don't need a whole lot. You probably need just a couple of pounds, and then you cut it in small cubes. For us, since pork belly is expensive, we decided just to get one package of the pork belly and the rest they had a special on pork butt. The amount we use is roughly between three to five pounds. So here's all those three packages of meat that you just saw. My mom cut it up in small cubes and you don't really use this much meat but because my family does eat a lot of meat, I bought those three packages and so now she's just rinsing it off and then this is what she's gonna be using to saute with the onion and garlic. We also use a large one pound container of baby spinach for the two pounds of lentils. We also cut up a large onion and a whole bulb of garlic. This is not the exact one that we use, but this is just an example. And the main ingredient for this dish is using green mung beans. We use two 14 ounce packages. You can use any brand, but this is the one that we had on hand. We are cooking for a large family so if you have a smaller family go ahead and use one package here's the meat in the pot my mom didn't really add any water it's just the water that was included during the rinse and so now we're going to go ahead and cover this and we're going to boil it how long are we going to boil this mom this kind of meat is get easy tender and maybe from the boiling 15 minutes my mom added one teaspoon of salt you can also add in combination fish sauce or shrimp paste. After 10 minutes, you can take the meat, put with the sauteed garlic and onion. I'll take the, the meat from the pot where you boil it to make it tender. To add more depth of flavor to this dish, you can add shrimp, saute it with the onion and garlic, and then add the meat. You can also add the shrimp paste or the fish sauce, but beware, it does have a strong smell. When cooking, just the meat, don't put the, uh, the liquid yet. And mix it with garlic and onion and saute it together okay. for around 15 minutes. The garlic and onion will be mixed with the pork. Then the pork, the pork will be tasty. Saute it for 15 minutes, then you can tell you know, that the meat absorbed the, the garlic and onion. Then put a little bit on the juice that when you boil the meat. And then after five minutes, you, you put the, the boiled the mango. Here's how the cooked mango looks like. So my mom said that she boiled it at first and then she lowered it to medium heat. Now some people like this more liquidy and some people like it more thick. So I would say this is just a little bit on the liquidy side but it, everybody cooks it differently and so however you like it, you can add more or less water. Don't forget to mix the mango every once in a while as it cooks so it doesn't stick to the bottom. How does it taste, Mom? Mm, it's okay, but it's still hard. Is, does it have enough it's salt? It's still hard. I'm gonna put more salt. My mother-in-law is also here. Hi, Mom! I have two moms in the kitchen. <laughs> Put a little bit more salt. One teaspoon. Okay. I measure with my hand. My mom has her suggestion on buying spinach. So what's your suggestion, mom? When you put spinach on your cooking mungo soup, 
it's better to buy the one with a stem on it, not the one that's like ready for salad, uh -huh. because it has more taste to the soup. Okay, so are we gonna use a stem too? We're gonna include a stem if you were to do that? Yeah. My mother-in-law also cooks mangal. Mom, do you wanna add anything to it, or how do you cook yours? How when I cook mango, I cook it with the uh, meat at the same time. So it will get more soft. Mm. So all the flavors then, will get mixed in, right? Yeah, and, uh, and then I uh, saute it with uh, garlic, onions, and that's all. It's cooked, <laughs> ready to eat. My mom decided to get our 16 quart pot and add everything together. As you can see, it will be easier to cook even though it's halfway. The other pot would be too small to add all our ingredients together. Even though the spinach is pre-rinsed, my mom decided to go ahead and rinse as well and then place it in the colander. I have one teaspoon of North chicken, uh, I think bouillon. And then I can run. When it's totally boiling, then I put the spinach, then it's done. So the longest part of cooking this mango is actually trying to get the lentil soft. Yeah, a shorter period of time in cooking it, soak it overnight the mango. Rinse it first, then soak in a clean water. Then the water that you soak on in, that's, that's where you boil it. 30 minutes is finished. So right now the soup is a little bit thin. I asked our mom if she can just make it a little bit thicker by evaporating some of the liquid. So I think what happened is that the liquid that was in the meat, when we added it into the beans, it got too liquid, it was too much. So we have been boiling it for like what, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Not to worry, it tastes delicious because we're gonna pour this over hot rice. And um, the kids should be home soon. I'll be picking them up in about a minute. So you'll see them enjoying this meal and um, I'll catch you in a bit. Here goes the spinach. We're adding the whole container of spinach and this might even help thicken up some of that liquid because it's gonna take some space, I'm hoping. But again, we have the hot rice. We're gonna pour it over that and that can also help thin this out. Depends how you wanna eat this. If you wanna eat it by itself, if you wanna eat it with rice, I like to eat it by itself. So we're just mixing all the spinach at this point. And mom, are you gonna shut this off in a minute? Yeah. The spinach, you see it, it's already wet. Hello. Oh. <laughs> then it's, it's ready. <laughs> ready, okay, bye. My mother-in-law's hungry. <laughs> you can also add chicharron in here. I forgot to mention that. But if you like chicharron, you can go ahead and do that, but we have plenty of meat to, um, to go without it. Okay, so Catherine is home. The two girls are in the library right now, so they'll eat when they get back. And so here are the two plates. I have one with rice and one without rice. It depends how you want to eat it. This one's with rice. Which one do you prefer, Catherine? With rice? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and taste it. I did eat any money on my head. And it landed on this one. Okay, all right, go ahead and try it out. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> wow, that was a big spoonful. Is it a thumbs up? <laughs> All right, so guys, here we go. This is Mungo. All Mom. right, Mom, thank you for cooking our dinner today. It's delicious. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you for watching our video of cooking mango or green lentils. I hope you guys can try this at home. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, Camille's home and Serena's upstairs. She hasn't come down yet, but look, she already ate. So Camille, what did you think about the mango? It was good, it was good. I can see because you ate everything. <laughs> All right guys, see you next time. Goodbye. Okay,